welcome back to my channel and if you're new here or if you're coming over from the playlist I'm Holly welcome I'm happy to have you here today I'm sharing with you another crockpot palooza video and if you have not uh, been watching this has been since August uh, we do a crockpot video on our favorite fall meals uh, it's usually the last Wednesday of each month so be on the lookout for that we have two more to do so November and December uh, and you'll find some great uh, recipe ideas for the fall in the playlist and I'm going to link that down below so be sure to go and check that out. It is being hosted by Tiffany at Small Town 6 and Jessica Myros at Jessica Myros. So please be sure to go and check their channels out as well. Uh, they have great content on their channels, lots of food content, lifestyle content. So be sure to go and visit their channels. And my channel consists of cooking and baking. I do some occasional grocery hauls and what I cook for dinner videos. So if that's the type of content you like to see, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and become a part of my YouTube family. I'd love to have you here. And now I'm gonna show you what I made for this crock pot palooza. And I hope that you enjoy the video. And for this crock pot palooza, I'm going to make some chocolate pecan bars very simple and easy to make uh, you may already have some of these ingredients in your pantry but you will need one and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour and two cups of semi-sweet uh, morsels the chocolate chips but i didn't I only had one cup of the larger morsels and i had a bag of the smaller ones so i just used up the larger ones that i had and just added a cup of those mini ones. So hopefully that turns out okay. Uh, you will also need two cups of chopped pecans, three fourths cup of light corn syrup, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and a fourth cup of packed light brown sugar. You'll need a stick of butter, so eight tablespoons, and you want that softened and also two tablespoons of butter and we're going to melt that later but I'm not going to do that right now because that's for later in the recipe but a half a teaspoon of salt and three eggs and like I said very easy to put together I'm going to show you how to do that in your crock pot so first take the stick of butter and your brown sugar and you will mix this until it becomes a creamy consistency so you're just creaming these two together so make sure that that butter is uh, somewhat soft otherwise it just takes a little longer uh, and it's just so much easier when it is at room temperature and now once that consistency is smooth start adding the flour and I start by just adding a little bit at first uh, so that way it just doesn't fly everywhere uh, it just makes it a lot easier and once that's mixed in some I add the rest of the flour to this continue to mix and you want to have a crumbly uh, texture so you can see how it's mixed together and it should look like this where it's kind of crumbled up some and this will go into your crock pot for the crust of the pecan pie bars you will need a six quart slow cooker for this or a crock pot. So spray it generously with some nonstick spray. Now I did dab it up a little bit with a paper towel just in spots that I felt was a little too much. But add the crust part to the crock pot. Then you're just going to pat it down just like you would if this was like uh, graham cracker crumbs or something like that. Uh, just pat it down and form a crust on the bottom of the crock pot you will cover this and it looks darker I don't know why but it's not that dark right now and you will cook this for one hour with the lid on until that crust is cooked and then while that is cooking I usually wait until it's about 20 minutes before that's going to be done add the eggs to a bowl then add the corn syrup and I did spray that cup with a little bit of nonstick spray and that does help it to release from the cup a little bit better. So just a little tip if you don't do that right now, 
you may want to start doing that. It just makes things a little easier. Add the sugar and the melted butter and you want to just stir that until it becomes completely combined and kind of a smoother consistency. Add the chocolate morsels, then add the pecans and you want to mix that until it's completely mixed up. Now, once that's done, you will add this over the crust. So you want to just pour it over and just be careful not to burn your arms or anything while you're doing this because that crock pot is hot. And then you're just going to take a spatula or a spoon, just spread it out and just to kind of evenly coat it um, and spread it. You will put the lid back on and cook this for an hour and a half to two hours on high, so keep an eye on it. And once it's done, you will take the crock out and put it onto a cooling rack. And you wanna let that cool until it becomes completely cool to room temperature. And I almost scrapped this recipe. <laughs> um, when I went to cut it, you could see there how it was still chocolatey. It was still more of a liquid form. And I was very disappointed in that. Uh, I have a feeling the issue with this was the mini chocolate chips I used. Uh, even though I used a cup, I think it actually added more chocolate than what the larger morsels would have used. So I do believe that's where the problem came in with this. Um, but I decided not to scrap it because we ate it. <laughs> and we liked it. Um, so it's a good recipe. It does taste really good. If it didn't taste good, I wouldn't share it. Um, but you can see it's kind of gooey there. It just didn't set up. But the sides did. And those were really good. Uh, we did eat. <laughs> that's the pieces we ate. And they were good. And it just, I, I think it was the, sem the, the smaller chips melted more than the larger chips did. So I just wanted to kind of show you, because this is real life, this is what happens. This one is, this is what it's supposed to look like. And it, they, like I said, they were really good. This one, you can see, I wanted to show you, you cannot lift this up with your fingers. It's a little too soft, but it still tasted really good. You just have to eat it with a fork. You can't, you, this, you cannot pick up with your hands to eat like a little bar. Um, but you can see how soft that is. It's cooked. I cooked it for the time allowed. And you can kind of see here, it's, that one's a little more solidified, but still soft. You can't, you would have to put that on a plate and eat it with a fork. Um, same here, you can't lift it up. You can see one end is where you could do that, but the other end, not so much. This was the corner piece and that one you can just lift up and you could see the crust on the bottom and everything they and it was nice and chewy um, it had a nice texture to it and really good um, that's why I said I couldn't just not in this one you could pick up as well that's what you're supposed to be able to do with these pecan chocolate or chocolate pecan pie bars um, but I didn't want to scrap it because I said well they're good and I think people would enjoy this. I really did enjoy it. Like I said, this one, um, I went ahead and just left it on the plate so that way you can kind of see what it would look like. That crust was really good. It was nice and buttery, flaky, and just the, the chocolate was really good in this. I just think if you use the mini ones, like I said, I was in a bind and I needed to, <laughs> um, I couldn't go to the store, so I just went ahead and just added those mini ones. Maybe if I would have added less of them, it might have worked out, but I would stick to using just the regular uh, semi-sweet morsels that are the regular size chocolate chips. Um, and I believe this would come out better presentation-wise, <laughs> but it would, I think, if you use the regular ones like the recipe calls for and not the mini ones like I substituted because I didn't have enough, um, I think this would turn out great. 
I'm going to try to do this one again just because I feel like that that is the issue and I like I said we enjoyed it you can have this with some ice cream on top if you want uh, or some whipped cream but I enjoyed it just as is um, like I said it is a really good recipe uh, so I think it's worth trying just do not do what I did and use those mini chocolate chips it does make a difference uh, it changes the ingredients I mean the um, the outcome of how it would look and but you do need to make sure you use a six quart crock pot or slow cooker because that makes a difference in your recipes especially when you're baking them so make sure that you have a six quart crock pot for this if not you have to adjust the ingredients or the time that you cook it so always know that when you're doing something like this it does matter the size of the slow cooker that you're using um, you may not think that it does but it does because I've used a larger crock pot for other meals and there is a difference in it but I would give it a try as I said, use regular chocolate chip morsels. Cannot stress that enough. Um, I just, like I said, it really did become a good recipe. Something I will make again. And I hope that you would enjoy it. And don't forget to check the playlist down below. So that way you can get some really good fall recipes. And go and support those channels. Also, don't forget to check out Tiffany's channel at Small Town 6 and Jessica Myro's channel at Jessica Myro's. And those links will be down below also along with this recipe. And I'm also going to link a recipe to a pecan pie uh, bar recipe that I made last year that was really good. It was made in the oven. <laughs> um, so I'm going to link that down below because I really feel like that would be one that you would definitely enjoy as well. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more like it, please click that subscribe button and the notification bell, and that will notify you when I post new videos. I appreciate each and every one of you who watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. You don't know how much. I hope that everyone has a blessed day and a great week. God bless y'all.